Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> Righty. So this is, as you can obviously tell by the title, uh, Elizabeth Ramsey, who is a uh, Jaya's mother. And I'm sure a lot of you actually know her because of her incredible uh, uh, career. Extensive she had. career, yeah. Yeah, she did a lot of things. And uh, and then Pilita Corrales for the first time, who was actually recommended a long time ago uh, to Valeska. Yeah. And I've come across this video, and uh, you're gonna. Valida has no idea what this video is. I have and no I know idea a bit what I'm it. going into. <laughs> but you see how sort of familiar and homely this this video feels because this is very like. This is very... It feels this is very Venezuela. <laughs> of TV of Venezuela. It feels okay. like that. I felt like... I don't know why. I felt like crying when I was watching this. I was like, what the fuck? I feel like I'm it's so homely. Nostalgic yeah. for a second. So I, I've seen okay. like the first minute of it, um, but right. I, I know you haven't. So let's give this a watch. And uh, and, and obviously a lot of you guys have sent me messages. You got to make Valeska watch Pilita Corrales and stuff. I'm like, okay, cool. People say I sound like her. I know. I, I think it's because you, you'll understand. Okay, okay. You'll understand. All right, let's have a look. This this is very intriguing. Ooh, how exciting! Yeah, she's, she's barefoot. Oh, she's barefooted. Way to dance, dude. Ooh! What? <laughs> Okay, boys. So she, Pilita, uh, from what you guys have told me, she sings in Spanish. She can sing in Chavacano. She can sing in Filipino. She can sing in Tagalog. She can, th uh, and I think both of them are uh, Bisayan. Ah. Um, so, so they obviously speak Bisayan, Bisayan too. as well. Um, so yeah. So I don't know if in this performance she switches languages, but I would love to check out some performances where perhaps Pilita is speaking in Spanish or or other maybe uh, 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 in Chavacano. I would love to hear him speak yeah, in so, Chavacano. Or maybe Bisayan, if you like. I don't know if this is Bisayan. Do let us know in the comments. As I always say, we're always learning. But How, it is. Bizarre, the isn't it? <laughs> it is very, very, very familiar in a, such a weird Bro, way. Like, watch it. It gets. It gets even more like what the fuck. It gets even more. Am I what watching the Benevision, moment? dude? It's like literally. It feels like you're watching Super Sado Sensacional. So Benevision is uh, the, the biggest. Was the biggest channel? I don't know anymore. But was the like, biggest national TV channel in, yeah, in yeah. Venezuela. <laughs> What do you call this in Spanish? Uh, Paso doble. Paso doble, that's it. <gasps> Bro, it does feel so nostalgic. She's wonderful, dude. Ah, that's a performer. Right there. Dude, she owned the whole thing, dude. She came to win. Vaya. <laughs> Look at how he's Wow, what a voice. Very peculiar, this. Paso doble in, in, in the Philippines. Woo! Dancing girl. Oh, yes! What a performer! <laughs> Isn't it? Wow. <laughs> True performer. It feels so humbly, so odd. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, this feels like um, it, Paso she was Doble. truly wonderful. Either. What a fantastic performer overall. The both of them get, I mean, so very different styles and the way they handle themselves, but absolutely owning the stage in their own personalities, in their own ways. This is yes, you are absolutely one hundred percent correct. Wait, is it? Oddly like... familiar because in, in Venezuela there's a rhythm called Paso Doble. Yep, it's, it's exactly what you're like listening double to. Step. It is exactly what you're listening to right now, and it's very folkloric. It usually sung in in this folkloric like uh, vocal tonalities, uh, uh, way as well. It, it, there is very clear tons of m melody coming through, but it can also be very speechy, very speech like. And in this performance right here, you're seeing both of those 
qualities that are so very folkloric mm -hmm. in Venezuela, very tangible here, which is, it is such a mind bug moment. Also so onomatopoeic, also something very uh, popular of that uh, genre. That type of stuff is like, it's so like... Uh, it's so familiar, yeah, and, and it's so folkloric. Sort of onomatopoeic sounds were a, a part of this. And I guess to some extent it did come because this sort of genre was so popular in the... Uh, well, Diana, what would that be like? Uh, in the plains. Yeah. Yeah, in the countryside to some extent. Oh yeah, well yes. Right. The cattle rancher. The cattle ranches ranches and stuff. And, stuff yeah. like that. and because you were exposed to so many noises and sounds from nature, in naturally the evolution of its music was also to try and replicate those That's sounds right. yeah. to implicate because sometimes these these genres were taken to the city. Yeah. So where to implicate and, and to uh, replicate the the same environment auditory environment that you would that you would be exposed to if you were in the farms That's if right. you were in these uh, branches and yeah. uh, so it's very peculiar the fact that this has it traveled is... I, I actually don't know the origin of so I, it, it, it certainly very folkloric of venezuela paso doble is heavily influenced by flamenco well so... spanish the Sp the his the spanish roots of it all yes um so it w that's why i don't find it absolutely i don't find it that crazy to think so far fetched to given think the history that, of yeah, the Philippines given, and the history of it. Exactly. America. So given that they they were colonized by Spain as well at, at a certain point, I I understand why some of those rhythms might be very prevalent even to the to this day. But what what's um, peculiar though is that it also feels like it's a folkloric st uh, folkloric sound in the Philippines. It is, and, and yeah, it does. And, it's and, awesome. And yet it feels <laughs> so it, it it hits so close to home. Those. These moments will never stop being mind bending. Do you know to Tokayo? Me. Yes. They also the use it in Philippines. <laughs> no. To me, like, what's up, homie? You know, like, what the fuck? It's <laughs> like same name, buddy. That's crazy, but anyways, carry Bro, on this. this is absolutely I love this video. Crazy. It's one of my favorite videos. I think, I think so, it too. Reminds, I feel like I'm watching it. Oh, dude. Mother, well, look at this. this. Mommy, this look is, at this. By the way, this is. Uh, hello, mother. Good, good to see you. Hello. <laughs> this, is, um, this is Jaya's mother. This was Jaya's mother. And. Uh, and Pilita Corrales. Run. Yeah. Uh, and listen to this. They're doing Paso Doble. But it's like, Paso well, li li yeah. listen, listen though. Yes, Miss Pilita and Tita Elizabeth. Oh, I think they finished. Oh, go back, go back, go back. Let me just put, it, just put it back just a little bit so you can hear it. Look at this. Doesn't that feel so familiar? Yeah, yeah the, she's gorgeous. So stylish. I know. So much oh. style, I mean. Yes. Mother loves it. Yes. Woo! <laughs> Come on. Yeah, dude, what? what? A I know. That's Pilita. But doesn't it sound no, so Pasol. Venezuelan? Like, yeah. doesn't it? It's so folkloric, such a weird thing. Yeah, when someone, when people re requested this, like, send me this video, so they sent it to me, actually. They didn't send it to Bali. I was like, what the fuck? It's like, this, yeah. that's so, it's so crap. It feels like, like you're watching uh, Sao Sensacional. <laughs> that's yeah, like when they show or something. But this is all, it's... <laughs> Literally. I feel, yeah, I feel like uh, uh, Simon Diaz is gonna, that's the next act. <laughs> but, so true. No, but we have a lady like that, Lila Morillo. Lila Morillo. Lila Live, and she's like that, this act. Oh, big so, big women uh, on that, stage. A, a, Elizabeth Ramsey is Jaya's, Jaya's mother. Mom. Amazing. Yeah. Crazy, um, no? Anyway, so yeah, it, it's truly sensational to watch. Like it it's is. so amazing, and uh, it really just in, uh, intrigues you even more on knowing more about the I I uh, his history of different islands mm. in the Philippines because this is Visayan. Um, so well, they're from Visayan. They're from Visayan. So I. I but I, I read in the comments that it's like a, this is a, 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 a traditional song. Right, um, okay. I'd love to know more again. I'm just kind of going off of what's available to me and, and kind of the comments. So mm. do let me know more about this. But I thought this was like a fun video to do and check out. And, what uh, a wonderful experience, Efra. It, 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 it does hit a very mushy spot in my, in my heart. It's, it's very strange. Yeah. I, feel like I, I, don't know, I don't know. I don't know. And I have never seen them before, but what a way to be introduced to something brand new. I mean, 
Wonderful. I Thank would, you so much for that wonderful suggestion. I would love to watch a, a bit, maybe a performance of Pilita Corrales, given the, the huge interest in that. and uh, Or Elizabeth Ramsey. Uh, she was obviously perhaps one of the most famous um, uh, comics and also um, uh, performers, performers in the overall in the yeah. Philippines. So very, very in- interested in that. And, and I know we kinda, it's, this is where it gets very interesting to me in, in how deep we're diving into different industries mm. um, that would now we have the chance to like, go in the past and maybe not worry so much about like what's present, what's going on right now. Um, and we get to know more about... Uh, the uh, essence, the of core. Of the industry. Yeah. And, what, and you know what, the next generation looks up to from the past. That's right. You know, so let us know certainly more about Pilita Corrales and Elizabeth Ramsey. And uh, yeah, happy days.